Welcome back. Tonight we are sitting down live with Columbia Mayor Brian Trees to discuss the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. We're going to send things over to ABC 17 Sydney Olson, who is live at City Hall with Mayor Trees. Deb, that's right. I am here live at City Hall with Columbia Mayor Brian Treese. And thank you again for joining us to answer our questions about the latest with COVID-19 and how that is impacting things here at the city. So I want to jump in with the latest numbers. There have been five new cases of COVID in just the last two days alone. What do you attribute this jump in numbers to? Well, you know, anytime, you know, we, we began our gradual reopening two weeks ago, and anytime we have a, a, a spike in cases, we had four yesterday, but we only had one today. It's, it's a little bit of a concern. I think the, the more important number that we are looking for are, 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 are these cases doubling. So if we had four yesterday, you know, conceivably we could have seen eight today or 16 tomorrow. That's not happening. So the one that we had today is actually good news, as, as unfortunate as that is. Uh, we continue to monitor these tests on a daily basis as we continue to turn that dial a little bit on our economy. So can you kind of break down for us what you guys are looking at for those numbers when having these discussions about the next phase of reopening? Yeah, about two weeks ago, we announced this next phase of reopening uh, for about 21 days. We're 14 days into that 21 day period, which is also about the incubation period for this novel coronavirus. Uh, any type of exposure or community transmission that we may have seen over the last two weeks, we're looking very closely every single day this week to see if we're seeing an increase of cases and if so, is it manageable by our health care providers? Now, there have been efforts to increase testing in Boone County. I know there's been mobile testing to go to some of the smaller communities like Centralia, Ashland. Right. Um, how do you think that this will impact the numbers that we're seeing reported? Well, testing is a major trigger for additional action when it comes to opening the economy a little bit more. A week ago, we started mobile testing in Centralia, Ashland, Hallsville, uh, and then three out of the five sites in the city of Columbia. We've done about 231 tests so far in the last seven days, and I think we'll begin to see the results, if any, from that testing here shortly. Now, I know people are really anticipating the announcement for what the next phase of reopening will look like. Can you kind of break down what that will mean for occupancy limits and maybe even group gatherings? Well, tonight we'll hear an update from the public health director. And, and keep in mind, when we made this announcement just over two weeks ago, it was for this three-week uh, phase in. Uh, and hopefully by the day after Memorial Day, we'll be able to turn that dial a little bit more. Instead of 25% occupancy, maybe 50% occupancy at our restaurants, maybe maybe allow other uh, establishments like small uh, footprint bars, tasting rooms, microbreweries to open back up. Uh, look, we all want to get back to where we were uh, pre-COVID-19, and uh, if everyone keeps doing their part, we will. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us tonight. And of course, the City Council will be meeting tonight at 7 p.m. and they are currently meeting to have budget discussions and we'll be bringing you the latest information on COVID-19 and from both of those meetings tonight at 9 and 10. Reporting live in Columbia, Sydney Olson, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you.